Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video, I'm going to tell you how did I prepare for my AWS Certified Advanced Networking Speciality exam. So as you can see on the screen, this is my certification and I got this on the 1st of August. That is my birthday month. So my birthday is on 10th of August and starting that month, I got this certificate. So this was on the cards from a very long time since February, I was thinking to give the certificate because this is probably the toughest of AWS certifications I know. And this is this was actually challenging. And this was challenging because it features few services for which you can't actually do a lot of hands-on practice. So you need to depend on the documentation and read a lot. So that is, that is where I felt the difficult part is. All right, so let me show you how did I do this. So basically it took me around a month and a half to prepare for this certification when I planned. So and almost, I mean, I dedicatedly gave around an hour and a half, maybe not more than that. So because I have a full time job, so I can't give it much time. But yeah, I tried to take out at least an hour, an hour and a half of time to study. So I started with this AWS Certified Advanced Networking Official Study Guide. So, I mean, yeah, people would say that reading from documentation is great, no doubt. But AWS documentation, it's just too much. You will get lost very quickly if you start reading from the documentation. So they provide this uh, official study guide and this is provided by AWS itself. And if you want to buy this on Amazon, the link is in the description. So you can just go and check it out and buy it for your exam, right? So this covers everything. I mean, from the uh, like the course perspective, it covers everything, whatever features in the certification, all the services. So nothing out of the certification course, everything which is, I mean, if you see, it won't feature services like S3 and EC2 because since this is a networking specialty exam, it focuses on the networking concept in AWS, right? So you would see a lot of VPN, a direct connect and things like that. So this covers your syllabus, right? So if you go through this, at, I mean, I read through this book at least twice. So not all the sections, frankly speaking, I, the section which I did more than uh, once was this direct connect. So because like I told you, direct connect is one of those services for which you can't do any hands on uh, like practice, right? So that is something that you need to depend on the do documentation. So that is why you need to read AWS Direct Connect from here, from the AWS website, the documentation website, because there are, I mean, 33%, 35% of paper is uh, AWS Direct Connect and VPN. So it's a large, and when you start giving the exam, you would feel that it features more than 35%. For me, I felt almost like 30 plus questions out of 65 were, featuring Direct Connect or AWS VPN. So this is the most important part, VPN and the Direct Connect. Apart from that, they have, I mean, very beautifully explained the domain name system and the load balancing. So this section is also very amazing, even the cloud front. And the best part about this study guide is that at the end somewhere, they have this hybrid architecture. So th this covers some scenarios of the hybrid, uh, hybrid architecture like how to connect your on-prem with your AWS and this network troubleshooting scenario. So this is also very amazing and network troubleshooting is around 20% that features an exam. So it, I mean, quite a bit of come, I mean, quite a bit of paper is from AWS VPN, direct connect gateway, direct connect and the network troubleshooting, right? So once I was done with this, so it took me, I mean, the most of the time was taken by this itself. Uh, this i mean reading this book it's pretty big so yeah again if you want to buy this the link is in the description just go and buy it once i was done with this i went to viz labs so viz labs is an amazing website amazing platform they cover all the aws courses i mean amazing con they have amazing content and i took their aws certified advanced networking specialty uh, bundle so this actually has four tests one is free and three new practice tests new i'm saying because this is based on the 2019 version of the exam and this also has like five uh, sectional tests as, as well 
and in this the aws vpn and direct connect sectional test i failed like four times before passing this so the questions were so amazing so good that it took me four attempts to pass these if you go down you will see the older test as well so this is the 2018 version uh, so this has more number of questions as you can see 80 questions and the, these tests are pretty easy i mean if i'll show you my attempts i think i never failed right yeah so you can see i passed this in the first attempt but if i show you my attempts over here so you can see i failed twice before passing this let me show the first test i failed thrice before passing it so you can imagine the standard of the questions right yeah and that's it so these two things i did for this particular certification and then i scheduled it i first scheduled it i mean i took a week's time and then i scheduled it but then i have to prepone this because i thought that i was pretty much prepared and there were still four days remaining for my certification so i preponed it like three days so i i gave it the very next day once i felt that i'm prepared for the certification and i passed uh, although not a very good percentage like i told you i passed with 75 percent 70 is the passing marks but let me tell you that 75 in this exam is pretty good because i felt really proud because the paper was very tough and trust me i mean vizlab is good you will get the good understanding of questions but don't think that any of these questions would feature an exam they get a completely different set of questions so none of the questions would come from here so just don't think that this is a dump or something this is just for your practice to give you uh, basically the idea how i mean what kind of questions feature and also give you uh, basically it makes you settle for that long an exam because the exam is three hours long so to sit for three hours and uh, basically give the exam in itself is a pretty big challenge right so you need to take care of that i mean this viz labs take care of that as well so you get in practice after completing all these tests that you get in practice of sitting for three hours that is also very big challenge all right so this is it for this video guys this is all i had i just wanted to show you how i prepared and probably this would help you if you have any questions related to certification exam any of the aw certification exam please feel free to comment in the box and i'll get back to you and yeah that's it thank you for watching